What do you think? Does a guy look like me? I don't think so, but a lot of people are saying it. So, like, you know what? I hope at least that blonde character gets better. Because, goddamn, that character is a fucking piece of shit. But then again, so am I sometimes. Hobin is kind of weak. Well, here's the thing, right? There gotta be some kind of, like, character development later. And you can't just have the character start off so strong if you're gonna make him into Giga Chad later. So hopefully, you know, he becomes more confident and stuff. But he already has kind of overcome the fear of fighting from the beginning, right? So he's kind of always been okay with that. And the whole premise now is we're gonna basically stream. And we're gonna go to people and we're gonna confront them and we're gonna fucking fight. It's basically like a prank channel on YouTube. But combine that with Fight Club. And hopefully we don't run into somebody that's just gonna fucking kill us. Cause like, let's get real. Fuck around and find out. If you're doing like YouTube pranks and you're doing some dumb shit harassing people in public, I have no sympathy for you. You can just fucking get fucked for all I care. But, but, you know, now that we are the ones doing the pranking, hopefully we're good enough to kind of put in the good show. I don't know. Let's begin today's episode though. This is a work of fiction. It is illegal for minors to drink alcohol or smoke tobacco. All right, all right, all right. We're the bullied boys. Everything for the sake of content, I guess. Pay check out of this, man. Fight him! Punch him, bro! No, fuck it! Just straight up go behind him and kick him in the fucking balls right now! I don't care! Oh, giveaways, giveaways. Guarantee you, he's never actually done a fucking giveaway, bro. I bet a lot of creators say this kind of bullshit. Oh, like and subscribe and make sure to comment and a lucky person will get a new PC. Never been sent out. And as soon as they start complaining, you block them and move on and nobody fucking knows, bro. Cap! Cap! Yeah! Get him! Damn! Okay, we win. No, this is actually genius, right? I was like, why the fuck are we, you know, working with Paco? But this is a channel with 700k subs. And if he goes live and we're able to take control and of his stream and say this shit and upstart our own stream, right? Giga bring. Is that girl in the yellow jacket again? Nothing of value here. <laughs> Yes! We're leeching! Give me all of Paco's 700k subs, bro! Expose that fraud and give me his viewers! <laughs> what are you gonna do, bro? What are you gonna do? Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Come on, man. Come on. Oh my. Oh, we're just getting fucking. Bro, you're a partner. 33k live? Holy fucking shit, dude. 33k live on YouTube is insane. Okay, they're all watching. Popular YouTubers, Pacos. A no good delinquent? Paco cancelled! Nuclear drama! Boy. <laughs> nice angle, nice angle, cameraman. Oh my. Why is no one stop? That's funny, right over here. Why is no one there stopping him? And here's the fucked up thing. It's better if he keeps going. You know? It's fucked, but like... Hoban has to take this shit, because the longer this goes, the more evidence we have to expose this fraud. So, why is no one there stopping him? For the content, I'm sorry. Hoban, come on, get a punch in, bro! No, win! Underdog, win! Yes! So many viewers, cornered rap boy is done. Just adding to his hospital bill is a crazy comment. Yo, these commenters are fucking ruthless, bro. Get in there, punch him. Holy shit, Paco's got tats? Now stand up. Kick him in the dick. 
twist his dick. ちょっと早く止めてくれよ。Cause it's fun. 今さらやめるわけにもいかないし。Everyone wants to see a fight, bro. いや黒目ちさ、筋肉すげえ。That's kind of scary. ってってか、それに比べて俺はガリガリの。This, the weight difference is too much. In a fight, you'd be surprised how much like, weight matters, right? Because like, that's the reason why boxing and MMA and these like, professional fighting has different weight classes. It is truly a different fucking game. Even though you can overcome that with technique if you're professional, if you're heavier, you're probably just gonna win. So, like, what is he gonna do? Either he kicks him in the dick or he gets a clean hit on the jaw. Because if you hit somebody in the jaw, Nobody, right? No matter how thick you are, your brain's gonna fucking scatter, you get a concussion, and then you're out. Is that a head button to the dick? That's a crazy line, dude. Fuck this guy, go in there. His webtoon, like, antagonists are so fucked. Okay, go in. Okay, okay. The higher they are, the heavier. I'm gonna say the heavier they are, the harder they fall. But oh, what the fuck is his position right now, Hoban? Oh god, he's sticking his gear out, bro. Oh no. <laughs> you wanna go see her? I'll send you to the hospital too. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Weight difference is so huge, man. No, main character speech. Wait! Wait, wait, wait! Stop! Wait! Wait! This guy's sitting in the main character spot! Wait! Far left! By the window! The real main character? Hold up! Wait! Who are you? Wait, even Paco scared? Oh, it's that kid. The rising star in the world. <laughs> okay. So he is like a literal MMA fighter, super rookie, Moon Song Kim. <laughs> Yo, if you read the chat right now, if you read the chat right now, this guy named Ding is getting fucking roasted, right? Look at this. Oh, it's that kid who a rising star in the world of MMA, the super rookie Moon Sung Kim. And then it's like, where the fuck did this excitable old timer appear from, yeah. Boomer? Uh, Look at the comments so more, bro. <laughs> the old dude, Boomer is getting roasted in the chat too. Okay, this guy actually looks like the main character of this show. <laughs> Even Paco can't say anything. Yo, in the opening or the trailer, don't we straight up fight this guy in the bathroom or some shit? Uh, okay. Uh, bye. Oh. Honestly, for, for a debut, we were defiant. We didn't go down too hard. We got a lot of views, right? Look at this, right? Look at the comments, right? He's definitely got courage. That was cool. That was awesome. Good job. I get bullied too. You give me courage. Nah. We've got a community forming. That was so fucking lucky. Fake, 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 fake reveal. Oh shit, everyone's... His line is blowing up. Are they calling him a fraud? The stream, right? The live stream. Trending! Paco bully! Paco exposed! Let's go! Paco BTS Paco violence is Paco fucking everything, bro! Oh, we got him! Alright, <laughs> we got him! We got him! We got him! We got him! Classic YouTube drama apology video, but the Koreans are very, you know, um, we gotta make it look good. So he gets in both knees, right? Look at how, like, look at the position. Cause like, what happens in like American YouTube drama videos, right? They'll play like a, a somber, like piano theme. They might have a dog, right? And they're gonna be like, oh, I'm so sorry this happened. You know, I went on vacation. I just went to therapy, but I'm back. You know, I have a dog now. It's the classic, hey, you got the fucking YouTube apology drama video check marks dude
Dude, that's the thing, dude. Good luck, Paco. Everyone makes mistakes. He's apologized. We should give him a break. I think he's a good person at heart. <sighs> Listen, listen, everyone does make mistakes, but Paco, I don't think is the guy that's gonna, you know, change from this man. He's not mad. Here's the thing about people like this. They're not sorry for that having, like, for, oh, for that happening, right? He's not sorry that he got um, exposed. He's sorry that he got fucking caught. That's the thing. Peep exactly, right? People never are actually sorry, because if they were, then this would have never happened. They're just sorry that they got caught. Into the grave. Actually, you're alive! Yeah. You're alive! Another stage event, you're still alive. Wait, did he actually forget to go off? You deserve everything and more, bro. How the fuck did a guy like this get to 700k subs, bro? But then again, there's a lot of shitty people in the world that gets even more, bro. No, Volunteer no. service. Volunteer <laughs> service. <laughs> oh, all, all the fake videos, he's getting exposed. Let's go! Washed! Paco washed! The people see the truth. The people see the truth. Whenever there's happening drama, oh boy. You know, people are always making noises. People are always going to respond to drama videos here and there. But at a certain point, the people always see the truth. Facts don't need to be defended. They're simply proven over time. Goodbye, Paco. こうなっ True, fun fact. So the reason that I've been, uh, I've changed my strategy in January to pause and give my takes, there's a couple things, right? First thing is a lot of people were mad that I was not able to catch on to details even though I was paying attention because I yapped too much and while doing so, sometimes subtitles go over my head. So I decided, you know what, let's start pausing. But another thing that I did learn is that the money you make on YouTube is really not about the views. It's about the mid-rolls ads, right? So when you're watching a video, some mid-roll boom appears. So intuitively, for, if people are watching the video for a longer time, if the video is longer, then you're going to make more money. That's the entire, you know, idea going on. Yeah. You, need to, you need to make the fight go long. Ideally, um, uh, videos that are less than 8 minutes in length, you cannot manually insert the ads. That's why a lot of the times, you'll realize that creators, they'll have videos, sometimes they're just kind of like phoning it in, right? Sometimes it's like a lazy video. I do that sometimes too with trailers or stuff like that. But 8 minute is the minimum duration of whether or not you can insert manual ads. If it's less than 8 minutes, then uh, you don't really have the option to manually insert the mid rules and you'll basically make a lot less money off of those videos but the three minutes is the uh restriction for this one is chicken man gonna train us where is he all right what did he say <laughs> okay someone responded looks are most important though i don't think there are need to be strong just doing push-up sit-ups and back extensions on your own won't make you stronger the only way is to get gripped through repeated real world experience First, you need to train yourself so that you don't lose sight of yourself. Go train in a martial arts gym or dojo. By training your minds in those places, you will change. And you will realize that fighting is stupid. Look, we're not trying to fucking become a sage, bro. We're trying to fucking make YouTube money off of these public fights. Judo. The best kind of fight is probably going to be something grappling related, right? Because like karate, karate, kung fu, striking, fighting... It's not really too good in um, street fighting. Of all the street fighting videos that I've seen, and I, I love it. I go, I scroll through Twitter or Reddit or whatnot. I love seeing like World Star people just yelling World Star and you know just fight. The thing that I've noticed always is whoever gets the first grapple wins. As in the guy that tackles from underneath and throws the guy onto the ground, 99% of the times, that person will always win. The person that tackles low, grabs the guy, tackles onto the ground, the fight is already fucking over. That's the pattern that I've always seen. Pro wrestling? Where's the chicken man, man? Watch some YouTube videos. Watch some TikToks. Yeah, how to fight. Chicken Man! Zero sub! So, the Chicken Man that we saw in the trailer has a YouTube channel, okay? No, watch him have like 2,000 videos. <sighs> Why make so many videos if you have no subscribers? 
we've all been there, right? Even the beginning of my reaction stuff, I was just making videos and only get like 10 views, but even that felt so good. I don't know. In the beginning, it's all about trying to do something different. And even if you don't get acknowledged, even if no one watches it, it's like you're creating a backlog. So that one day when things start to pop off, you know, they have a lot of videos to go through. So I don't think this is wasted. Hello. Okay, this is the most gaijin Japanese I've ever heard. Hello, hajime mashite! Yes, I do! So bro watches a zero-sub chicken man channel and learns to fight? Okay, stay calm. Don't panic. Actually true, you gotta be very calm and reserve your stamina. Provoke the enemy. Yeah. So then you can read your enemy if they get provoked. Like, how to get hit without getting hit? It's like if a punch comes at you, you're basically like backing off so that even though it, it punches you, you're basically just like lessening the impact of it. No, 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 keep watching, bro. No, 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 keep watching. He's cooking. Maybe. No, no, chicken man might be cooking, dude. Okay, until next time, Sam Duck. Whack Donald. Yo, but what about Bo Me, man? What about Bo Me? I want to see Bo Me. They know us? Oh, Bomi, Bomi. Yeah? Try it. If it's that easy, try it, right? You're fucking stupid. Why are you working here? Anyone, it's just so easy, right? You just make videos on YouTube. You just start a stream, right? Just get a fucking mic. Just get a webcam, right? All you gotta do is go live and play a game, and you're gonna be a millionaire, right? You got no excuses. Just go try it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Bomi! <laughs> Bomi sees the truth. Yeah. Nice, nice. <laughs> Manager, you're being way too fucking creepy. Get some women on your aid. We got our line, man. Let's go. <laughs> now, I wonder why Bomi actually likes Hobin. Because he was like brave and tried to expose Paco, who was so much stronger. And that bravery, even though it's like the courage of the weak, right? <laughs> Solo leveling reference, but maybe something like that, right? Bomi can respect that. Okay, you were always like a good guy at work. Paco was seemingly, you know, a scumbag. You were able to expose him by being brave and taking the hits. You know what? I respect that. Give me your line. I could see that. I could see that. Yeah. The burger scene last episode was kind of cringe when he made the 30 second burger and he was like, <laughs> Look at me. I'm so cool right now. That was <laughs> oh, we're testing her! I hope we're not getting scammed. <laughs> Bomi doesn't go to our school? I'm not sure. She must go to a different school, maybe. 100k subs already? Holy shit, dude. Two videos, 100k. But here's the thing, and oh, Jesus Christ, cameraman. 100k after just two videos is amazing, but it didn't just happen out of chance, right? It was extremely calculated. Because those 100k are off of Paco subs, right? And the whole goal was to expose this fraud and go viral using his viewership and to direct into those two videos, right? The first video also was crazy. That was just like luck, right? The webcam went off. We were fucking slapping with the kimchi thing. But it was funny and everyone fucking loved it. Second video. And then the first video went na like global. The second video was all of Paco stuff. So it does make sense that after two videos that he could get 100k just like this. And you have to. This is like working smart. This is like not working hard. You know what I mean? Like you have to really strategize and figure out how to get lucky by positioning yourself, understanding trends and trying to figure out like, okay, I'm putting all this grind in, but strategically, how can I actually pop off like that? So in this case, they were very smart. They utilized, you know, Paco's audience and fraud and exposed them live. So my guess is going to be this, right? The whole goal is to get minimum three minutes for the ad revenue, right? So Mr. Chicken Man was saying how to take hits without getting hits. 
So it's going to be like wrestling where you get hit, but you're doing it in such a way that you're not really taking damage and you can kind of pad the watch time and then end the fight. I think that's where we're going, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bro smells the cash cow. What did he just say? What did he just say? Well, well, sure, but being famous doesn't lead to anything good. Girl's gonna show up. Oh, you have 100k subs, right? Can, can I give you my number? Oh. The makeup girl! Nah, nah, no. Thought be God. Well... Actually, I don't know. Maybe I'm judging the book by its cover because she did send Paco a line message calling him a fraud as well, right? So she was probably just leeching off of Paco's subs and hey, that's fine, right? And leeching is just another word for networking. She might not be that terrible as we assume. We just kind of assume that she's a bitch because she was associating with Paco, but you never know. You never know. You gotta tell me that if you're in this situation, you would say no to her. Look at those fucking hips. It can't stop. Hey, Someone also mentioned last episode in my YouTube video comments, and you guys are cooking way too much. And they said, Yo, Kaka, did you see when Paco and this girl were alone? And she said that she was, re you know, returning the favor. Her knees were red, bro. Do you know what that means? Gok, gok. Knees red right now. Nah, bro. I, don't, I, I think... We're cooking too much. Unless she also just gave Gok Gok here. Her knees are already pink. It's pretty much the equivalent of like hentai characters. Shiny, glossy, you know, in the skins and stuff like that. She wasn't actually on her knees, man. Cap. Cap. I, you're lying. Oh, it's, I don't. I, it's like, I didn't want to, but my viewers keep saying it's like, you know. All right, one time collab, why not? Why not? Come on. Look, she's, she's seemingly like a snake. She's definitely no Bomi, but I'd, I'd, I'd probably do one video. Why not? <laughs> okay, bro is actually scheming. Bring a girl and we can go on a double date. Yo, this guy, he's a fucking genius. <laughs> No. We didn't ruin your YouTube channel. You ruined the YouTube channel. If you were a genuine person, you wouldn't have been cancelled like that. Provoked? We can read him! Oh, get the cam out! Get the phone out! Record this! Record this! Kick him in the dick! How, how, how? Cameraman was fucking ready, bro. Smile for the stream. You're on cam, Paco. No, I don't look like him. I'm just good at making facial expressions, bro. I just, I'm just good at making facial expressions. I don't look like him. Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when? Which? Do it on cam. Do it live. <laughs> that was pretty heroic, bro. You saved him. We should be. He actually did good there. What do you mean? His content? It's legit. <laughs> けんかかってまって思ったよりも難しいな。いつまでも不良に噛みつ。人まずは。おいじゃん。おお、ポミ、オッケー。これだけでなんて幸せなんだろう。3 how the fuck did you know him behind with the hoodie and a hat on? Really? Okay. Uh, hello. Are we getting scammed? What's going on? They're actual fans, right?
they want to get in the hustle. Maybe they want to like stage a fight or something and take advantage of it. What is it? Yeah. Is he robbing us? You're straight up just getting robbed, bro. Snapper! <laughs> Go fight him! Live! <laughs> we got live. We got mug live. Also, clutch. Listen, Snapper can't fight for shit, but goddamn, he's fucking ready as the cameraman. Let's fucking go, Snapper. So, like, didn't we just record a guy committing a crime live? What, what, what is that guy gonna think? Like, we uh, he doesn't know yet, but, like, holy shit, that's one hell of a leverage we have. They're a famous couple, too? Really? Snapper is content brained out of his mind. Think about the views. Think about the ad revenue. Viral hit. Title drop. That's the episode. Hey, another fucking viral episode, man. This shit is peak. I love how much there is, um... I mean, the whole theme is about like content creation and streaming. So I love just like hearing actual things that they're talking about how like we need to pad the ad revenue. We need to, you know, pad the watch time and like people getting exposed in real time, right? Paco's content, we didn't cancel him. He canceled himself. Eventually, there's going to be a point where, you know, the people were going to find out. We just have to speed up the process. And that's the thing about these frauds online, man. They have this fake persona on. They have a fucking mask on. And it's the moment that someone else starts talking shit and say, hey, maybe there's something else going on. They're like, what do you mean? This is all your fault. Nah, bro. This is all on you. This character, bro. This character. The super rookie Park myung or something. I forget his exact name. He seems fucking sick. Actual MMA fighter. We cannot be fighting this guy. Hopefully we like become friends or maybe he starts making videos with us or some shit. I don't really know, but it seems like a very promising character. The YouTube apology video is so fucking funny. Bro just apologized and he was on his knees. And then as soon as it's done, like he didn't even turn the stream off. Like how stupid could you fucking be? It just blows my fucking mind, man. The chicken man though. Who the fuck is he? It's just... Chicken man, zero subs. But like, his content is good. So maybe Buck, um, maybe Hoban will after, you know, um, actually applying the concepts that he's learning from fighting from his videos. And after he gets bigger and bigger, we can like drive traffic towards Chicken Man or something. Maybe one day we'll meet Chicken Man in person. I don't know. Maybe Chicken Man will just be this mysterious entity that we'll never see in only through videos. This girl, she's looking like a gold digger. She probably is a gold digger but i'm probably gonna give her a chance just for that one percent like come on you, you're going with you're going to do it too right we got focus on bomi but like hey i mean i mean come on now and finally this is a rich couple in this area huh they're a famous couple and they just fucking mug this live even though snapper can't fight for shit he is on time with the fucking camera so next episode i guess they're our first you know prey we are the predator they are the prey we're gonna fuck them up take her phone back and then another hit video but that's it from me if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care